position and wait for my go. Okay, students, uh, welcome to week three tutorial sessions. Okay, so uh, as you guys have progressing uh, using your Adobe Illustrator, uh, you must aware that okay, uh, we are using a lot of basic shapes and it's just a matter of combination of those shapes. Alright, so for a today's lessons, what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to illustrate a toucan bird like what you see in the picture and I want you guys uh, to download these images I just want you to download these images and then put it into a week 3 folder okay and then what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, illustrate this toucan bird and the concepts that we are going to illustrate today is that uh, we're going to use a simplification okay uh, we're going to use basic shapes identify uh, what are the shapes that makes the toucan bird and then uh, try to simplify it uh, the shape of the toucan all right so since uh, the toucan have a very vibrant images and then uh, that would be an interesting subject for us to uh, illustrate all right so i want you guys to uh, switch on your adobe illustrator so uh, you're going to place uh, the file of the toucan bird by clicking file place find back the file that you have a uh, downloaded from open learning click over there okay click with an arrow and then replace accordingly okay you must click or else the size of the picture will become so huge okay so once we replace our birds okay uh, what we can do is that uh, we can save the file first click on file save as okay save as token and then click on save Okay, since I already have the file previously okay so you don't need to, to do that okay so if you look at the token bird okay uh, it have a few basic shapes all right so first what we wanted to do is we want uh, to make sure the token uh, see the other way so the way that you want to do, do it is right click transform reflect okay vertical click ok so the token is uh, looking the other way okay so uh, if you look into the shape of the token bird okay so if you look closely the entire shape is look like a uh, circle shape okay if you see i'm moving my mouse around there so you can notice that okay so then what we want to do uh, click on ellipse tool Okay, just going to set on white, set on a stroke black. Okay, hold your shift while you're doing that. Make sure you cover the entire to convert so somewhere. So you see, I just uh, cover the entire basic shape of the to convert. All right. Okay. Okay, so somewhere around there. Okay. So that is the basic shape that you're going to play around with. Okay. Alright, so uh, next step is uh, we're going to get uh, some, so I'm just going to bring it down, okay, the separate the body and the beak of the token, okay, the beak of the token, uh, so the separation as we learned in previous tutorial that you can make a separation using Pathfinder, so this time around, I'm going to use a pen tools. Okay, either you hit P on your keyboard or you can click over here. Pen tool. Okay, to use pen tool, make sure you do not have any a fill color. Just only stroke. And then uh, I bet you guys already learned. Uh, you practice your pen tool. So hold your shift. Click one. Click here. Okay. I'm still holding my shift I am and move it a 45 sorry uh, at the angle uh, 45 degree angle click hold and drag okay and release I hold uh, release my uh, shift now 
and click and drag okay and then once you're done hit alt okay okay so that is uh, the first shapes that we are going to do okay so uh, then we're going to create the big for the token okay uh, P, uh, P for pen tool or click over there again uh, we're going to do similar but a little bit different okay click click down here holding your shift okay so it will go to the angle while holding your shift click over there drag okay and then this time around just going to make it straight like this all right okay once you're done halt and then you finish the point okay so that is uh the the two shapes that we're going to work with today okay uh, so the the ellipse tool the the lines that we created both using pen tool okay so i want you guys to try that first make sure you were able to get this line okay as uh, smooth as possible okay so if you can see over here you can see this is the tukan body and this is the uh, tukan uh, beak okay so once you already have the uh, tukan uh, outline something like this okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to separate uh, both of the section over here okay so I'm just going to move this uh, shapes over there okay something similar all right so the way that you want to do it is select all okay windows pathfinder okay so from here uh, i want you guys to click on divide okay click on divide okay so now uh, the section have been uh, divided into a uh, several section one two and three okay so but still in one group so what you need to do afterward is right click ungroups okay so now if you click once they will select uh, each group separately okay so we don't want the middle part over here so we just select this uh, uh, mid group and then you can hit delete okay so there you have it uh, the two shapes of the body and the beak together okay so a, a next step is to make uh, the big shapes over there okay this color looks interesting okay so uh, again uh, using the most powerful tool which is the pen tool without fill color make sure it does not have any fill color okay so I want you guys to create one line like this okay alt to finish the line and then click like this okay so make these lines first Okay, so I want you guys uh, to try to create this line first and then we're going to separate the lines together. Okay, so once you already have these lines together, the same thing that we did previously, select both and then click on divide. Okay, so now it already uh, divided to three parts. Okay, so we just need to ungroup it, right click ungroup and then you see one, two and three, then there's a bit of edges that uh, this line that we don't want so what you can do is that we can delete this line by clicking on direct selection tool or a select over here and hit on delete and then you are able to delete the line okay all right so that is the big the base and uh, the big of the token we were separated by one two three colors okay so I want you guys to try that. Okay, make sure you were able to uh, make this one, two, uh, three sections together. Okay, so there will be another two more sections that we're going to create. Okay, the eyes, the eyes part, and the body. 
okay so first of all we're going to create this this part over here using a ellipse tool make sure there is no uh, there is no fill color okay so use ellipse tool I'm just going to eyeball it over there okay so somewhere around here and then uh, we, I'm going to tilt this ellipse a little bit by go to the edge until you see your cursor is changing then you can make the adjustment like that okay okay so I'm just going to match until it have the edge of the beak like that okay and I'm going to create another smaller one by duplicating this so the one uh, the way that you want to duplicate select ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste and then you can resize by holding your shift go to the edge of the shapes and then resize okay so that would be a some uh, that would be the eyes part the white that one over there okay right so nicely done okay so uh, next one is that uh, we're going to create the the shapes over there still using a ellipse tool okay make sure there is no fill color again i'm going to make sure and then arrange this ellipse somewhere around here like this maybe i just okay match the the edge that i see over there okay all right so just make some adjustment until i get that uh, shape nicely intersect together okay so uh, i want you guys to try to create this ellipse because we're going to separate the this section over here to one two three parts together okay so once you already uh, have all your ellipse together like this just select the area that you wanted uh, to make a division without selecting this big over here with all these things are selected click on divide okay so that means it already have divided accordingly okay so uh, after it uh, click on divide it's still attached together so what we need to do is that right click and groups okay and then uh, delete the th the thing that we don't want like here click here i don't want this one and i don't want this one okay so uh, that is the basic shapes for your to convert okay so once you ready have your basic shapes uh, then we can start to apply colors towards the toucan bird okay so um, the body okay for example you can see that it is black in color okay maybe you want to choose this as black or black here okay, so that will be the body make sure you do not have a stroke okay uh, maybe I just want to okay this one maybe I want to put a, a gray color Okay, gray color this one is fine make sure no stroke again okay and then uh, maybe I want to stylize the the shapes over here instead of uh, follow that one maybe I follow this one uh, which is a orange in color okay maybe this orange How about this orange okay change okay and then this one this orange make sure no stroke or else i will have a stroke like this i don't want any strokes towards all my design okay all right so that is the body and then uh, maybe i would just want to add a little bit more over here like what we did previously in the uh, monster exercise where we can add uh, eyes over here so i'm just going to choose put eyes Okay, maybe I can design this eyes a little bit more. Okay, so and then maybe another shapes over there, smaller a little bit to make sure it looks like an eye. Okay, and then maybe another smaller one just to make sure 
It is look like the eye of the Tukan nah. Okay so um, Okay so basically Maybe I just change it, Make some adjustment towards that Okay just make some adjustment Until you get it right Okay, okay so uh, That is the Tukan eyes And then uh, you can start to color the token a bit, okay? Okay, so once ready, uh, have the color ready, and then maybe this one I can I want to match with this color, okay? And then uh, maybe this one I'm going to change to a different color, okay? And then this one maybe black, okay? Great. Okay, so make sure I have no outlines. Okay, all right. So, uh, okay. So once you ready, uh, have basically uh, the basic shape of the token. So now it looks like a token. Okay. So uh, I want you guys to write uh, some text over there. Okay. So using a tools. Okay. Over here, type tool. Then you can type over there. To convert, okay. So just a little bit of briefings uh, to you about how you want to use a, a proper uh, type tool. Is that I want to put it in the middle, so I enlarge and then I'm going to use a paragraph center, okay. So it is going to be right in the center, okay. So I can highlight that by double clicking. Okay, and then uh, change to the font that I wanted to use. Okay, for example, I'm going to use a variable uh, concept font. You can use whatever fonts that you wanted. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to change accordingly. Okay, and then uh, the easiest way for you to uh, increase the size is by highlighting uh, the points over here and increase the size. Okay. Alright, so until you get the satisfied uh, sizes that you wanted, okay? Okay, so once you get the size, then maybe uh, you want to change the color accordingly. Alright. Okay, so uh, there you go. Uh, have it. You have uh, your Tukan bird accordingly. Okay, so uh, it is a very uh, simple illustration. Okay, so one of the methods that you can do illustration is by identifying the basic shapes of the object that you wanted to. Okay, and then uh, uh, and then apply your uh, basic shapes uh, towards your uh, design. Okay, so that is one method. Okay, so I want you guys to uh, save this file. Okay, and then save as PDF. Okay, so I'm saving this file and then another one I want you guys to save as PDF and uh, submit the PDF to Open Learning. Okay, alright, so I hope you guys were able to continue uh, for your progress uh, of your final project. Okay, sorry, uh, progress of your project brief one where you need to create a poster so that you should submit it uh, by next week. Okay, so have a good uh, try at the Tukan bird, and I would expecting uh, I would expected your uh, amazing project uh, project is coming up. All right, okay, have a good day.